Should you go to college? All right, so the short answer for me is yes, I do think that you should go to college. Hear me out, I am a senior product manager at Amazon currently. I have about 12 years of experience as an entrepreneur prior to that. And I tend to look at college as an insurance policy for your future. So you have one school of thought that firmly believes that college is completely and utterly worthless. And you have one school of thought where people believe that it is absolutely imperative that you go to college. So on the school of thought where people think it's worthless, I was listening to a podcast the other day uh, of a, uh, a woman that was an entrepreneur. She is a seller on Amazon and she has multi-million dollar sales. She was talking about how her computer science degree was completely utterly worthless and that she doesn't even know how to program her remote control for her TV anymore. And so, I mean, you take somebody like that or you take somebody like Elon Musk uh, or any other billionaire out there that talks about how worthless college is and you, you can tend to fall into the trap of believing that or believing them and, and, and thinking that it, it is completely worthless. Now, I do think it's, it's worth it. I uh, struggled after uh, a, an entrepreneurial venture that I had and I was able to use college as a pivot and so when I was thinking about college when I was 18, 19, I definitely wanted to go to college. Um, and my parents, you know, were, were very interested in, in me pursuing the college route as well. By the time I got to my sophomore year, I really started rejecting the idea of college. I really wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to do nothing else. I thought about dropping out of school. And I actually was able by my junior year of college, I did start a business, uh, an electronics company that grew to multi-million dollar sales. Uh, I had that company for nine years. I sold that company in 2012, started another business, and the, the second business that I started after about a year and a half or so, it, it failed, it wasn't going well at all, and when I pulled back out of that, I was just exhausted from being an entrepreneur. I was exhausted from the hours. And a lot of people tend to look at entrepreneurship as this, this rose with rose colored glasses, like you have all this freedom and you make all this money. But I think the reality in a lot of cases is that you, you struggle a lot and, and it's only the people that you see on the news that make the tons of money. You know, it's only the Airbnb success or the Google success that you tend to see and you don't see all the other failures out there. And so I tend to look at college as something to hedge your bets on and, and it, overall as an insurance policy. And you know, when, when that company for me failed, I pivoted into not wanting to be an entrepreneur and thinking, what am I gonna do with my life? I'm in my early 30s, I have a baby on the way and because I had the college in my toolbox, I was able to then leverage that into getting an MBA. And then I was able to pivot into a really high paying six figure job in corporate America. And subsequently, I was then poached from my great job uh, in corporate America to Amazon. So, you know, I, I think if, if I didn't have college uh, in, my, in my back pocket, I would have been really screwed. And, and everybody has a different story about whether college is worth it or not, but it definitely was valuable for me in my, in my situation. So uh, take it for what it's worth. I think if you use your mindset and think about college as merely an insurance policy for your future and you don't think of why college would be worthless right now and you think about it how maybe in 10 years and 15 years and 20 years you want to pivot you want to reinvent yourself if that's the case um, you can you can do so with with the background of college so uh, you know and, and also the, the argument that college is ultra expensive is true. It is expensive, it is crazy. I think that the costs have gotten out of control and I absolutely agree with that com those comments out there. But if a college for four year term costs 
for the four-year term. Now that may be on the low side for a four-year college. I know that there's colleges that are hundred or more thousand dollars for four years and you know and, and that is very expensive, right? You have to weigh that across what your potential earnings could be from having that particular college degree. But a $40,000 college expense, total tuition expense, over 30 years uh, with student loans is something around $200 a month. So I think the argument that in a lot of cases, the argument that college is just insanely expensive and out of reach for people is not necessarily true because if you look at a $200 bill as an insurance policy, a lot of people pay $100, $150 a month for their high-speed internet at their house combined with their iPhone and their cell phone bill, right? Their iPhone X is $30 a month that they're paying for and their cell phone bill is $99 a month and then you lump on you know, gigabit speed internet at your house and you're another $50 or $60 a month, right? You're, you're $200 a month in, in creature comforts. So if you compare the two, I think it is worth it having college um, in your back pocket. But that is merely my perspective. I know everyone's got their own opinions on it. So uh, regardless, it's, it is a tough decision. There's a lot of options out there. I'd say weigh them all. Take my advice as just a single data point in your journey to determining whether it's worth it for you or not. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks a lot.